Hey there, welcome to Rise Up Namibia. Hopefully you are having a great long weekend so far, wherever you find yourself. Now in this particular tutorial, we are going to be answering a question from the comment section, which was written by Marcus Aipinge, that wrote, Sir, may you please teach us on functions? Now in this particular, <laughs> particular, yes, in this particular video, we are going to be looking at how to evaluate functions. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive into today's lesson. So here we have two functions, right? And then we are asked to find the value of A, B, and C. So what's going to happen is I'm going to do A and give you a chance to do B and C. Okay, so this is actually very, very easy. So for A, we have a F. And then inside the brackets, we have a 5. So how do we solve this? Look. Which function is having an f here? It's this function, which is f of x equals to 2x plus 4. So we are going to use this function. Okay? Now when we use this function, wherever we see an x, we substitute what? The 5. Okay? Now when we substitute the 5, basically just solve. You say 2 times 5 will give you what? It will give you 10. And then the 4 or the positive 4 just comes down. Now at least 10 plus 4. That will be 14. And just like that, we are done with A. So I give you a chance to do B and C. Okay? Okay, now for B and C, let's start with B. So here you have a G and then inside brackets you have a 5, isn't it? Now again, when you look at these two functions, which one is having a G? It's this one. Now we don't read this function the same way we read this one. We read this one as f of x equals to 2x plus 4. But this one we read it as G is a function that maps x onto 12 minus x. Okay? That's how we read this function. Now to make life easy, when you are solving something like this, change it to this notation. Okay? So you can change this function to this notation. How do you do that? By writing it as g of x is equals to 12 minus x. And then from here, you can do what we did here uh, in A, okay? Which is substitute the 5 wherever you see what? Wherever you see an x, okay? So let's do just that. And then from here, we know already that 12 minus 5 is equal to what? 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. And that's our final answer for B. How about for C? For C, we use this function. And we just substitute negative 3 wherever there is x. Just remember to always put it into brackets. Okay? So we say 2 multiplied by negative 3 will give us what? To give us a negative 6. Now negative 6 plus 4 is equal to what? It will be negative 2. And that's your final answer. Easy, isn't it? Let's take a look at another example. Now here we are also given two functions again, and then we are asked to solve the equations below. Now what is an equation? Again, I'll do A and give you a chance to do B and C before we check it out. Okay? So here we have f of x equals to 2. So it's an equation. So how do we solve it? f of x. Which function is f of x here? It's this one. Now that function is equals to 2x plus 4, isn't it? So where we see f of x, we substitute 2x plus 4. And then the 2 just comes down. Why did I write 2x plus 4 here? Because f of x is the same as saying 2x plus 4. Hence, instead of writing f of x, I can just write 2x plus 4. Okay? 
so that I can be able to solve the equation. Now 2x plus 4 equals to 2. Now this is a simple linear equation. To solve this uh, simple linear equation, let's put all the like terms together. So we have a 2x on this side and then a plus 4 and a 2. So let's take the 4 to the 2 because they are both what? They are both um, constants or just numbers without variables. So if you take the 4 to the other side, it becomes a what? A negative 4. Because remember when a number crosses the border or the equal sign, it changes the sign. So positive 4 will become negative 4. From here, 2 minus 4 equals to negative 2. The 2x on the left just comes down. Now from here we want to get x alone. So we divide both sides by 2. So that it can cancel out on the left hand side. Then we'll have x is equals to what is negative 2 divided by 2. That will give us negative 1. And that's your final answer for a. Okay? So pause the video and try b and c. Okay, so for B, again here we have a G, and then inside that uh, bracket there is an X, meaning G of X. The function G of X equals to negative 3. So when you go here, you look, which function is G of X? It's this one. Now G of X is equals to what? It's equals to 12 minus 2X. So instead of writing G of X, you write 12 minus 2x is equals to negative 3. Again, a simple linear equation, isn't it? So, you just take the 12 to the other side, which will become negative 12. And then on the left hand side, the negative 2 will be left. So, from here you say negative 3 minus 12. What answer do you get? You get a negative 15. But now, we want to get x. How can we get x alone? We need to cancel out this negative 2. So how do we cancel it out? By dividing both sides by negative 2. So what is negative 2 divided by negative 2? That will give us x. Because these two will cancel out. Then negative 15 divided by negative 2 will give you what? 7.5 or 7.5. Okay? And that's your final answer. How about for c? C we have f of x is equals to g of x. Again, f of x is equals to what? It's equals to 2x plus 4. So you can write that on the left hand side. And then g of x is equals to what? It's equals to 12 minus 2x. So you can write that on the right hand side of the equation sign. From there, it's a simple linear equation that you can just solve by taking the like terms on one side. Okay? So the like, term, like terms, we have 2x. Do we have another term with the x? Yes, we have one here. And then we have two constants, which are these two. But now, notice that it's like we have this x on one side of the equation and another x on the other side. Now you want to have them on one side and the constants also on one side. So how do we do that? Simple. This 2x, just bring it down and then you bring the other 2x on the other side, on the left hand side. So it was a negative 2x, it becomes a positive 2x. The same with the constant. On the right hand side we had a 12, it comes down, and then this positive 4 that was on the left, we take it on the right, it becomes negative 4. Okay? Simple linear equation, guys. So what is 2x plus 2x? That will give us positive 4x, and then 12 minus 4 will give us 8. But now we want x, so we divide both sides by 4, so that we can get x alone on one side. Okay? 4 divided by 4 will cancel out. x equals to 8 divided by 4, which will be 2. And that's our final answer for that question. Okay? Now let's take a look at another example. So here, given a function, okay, solve h of x equals to 5. Okay. So here, these two examples are also equations. 
So I want you to pause the video and try out these two equations before we check them out. Okay? So pause the video now. Okay, so solve h of x equals to 5. So being an equation, again, just check, what is h of x equal to? So here we have this, which is 4 plus x divided by x. Just write that down in the place of h of x, and then equals to the 5 that was written there. Now, here again, it's very simple, guys. Let's get rid of uh, the fraction part. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Basically, if you want to get rid of the fractional part or the denominator, you can multiply both sides by that denominator, in this case, which is x. So we can just multiply x on both sides. So if you say x multiplied by 5, it will become 5x. And then x multiplied by this, it will cancel out the denominator. Okay? Or you can make the 5 like over 1. You make it a fraction and then you cross multiply. As long as you get an answer like this. Okay? Which is 4 plus x equals to 5x. So from here, it's again a simple linear equation. You just take the like terms on one side. Which means in this instance, we take the positive x to the right hand side. Now each time you move a term over the equal sign, that sign will change. For example, this one was positive x, but when we move it to the right, it becomes negative x. And then the 4 just comes down. Okay? So now you have 4 equals to 5x minus x. Now what is 5x minus 1x? That will give us 4x. Okay? But now we want x. So how do we get x alone? By dividing both sides by... 4. So it will cancel out on the right hand side and we will be left with x is equal to what? 4 divided by 4 which is 1. And that's our final answer. Okay? How about for this one? So here you are given two functions and you are asked to solve this equation. It's actually also very simple. What you do is you just substitute what is f of x? f of x is equal to x squared. So you write down x squared. And then what is g of x? g of x is equals to x plus plus 2. So it's x plus 2. So you write down the x plus 2 as well. From here, notice that we want to solve x, isn't it? But now we have an x squared here. How can we solve for this one? Basically because f of x is equals to g of x, we can take all terms on one side and make them equals to zero. Okay? So here we had x squared. When we bring the positive x to the left hand side, it becomes negative x. And then we also take the positive 2 to the left hand side of the equal sign. It also becomes a negative 2. Okay? Now notice that here we have a quadratic trinomial. Okay? Now if you don't know how to solve for quadratic trinomials, I will be leaving a link down below in the description that you can check out, okay? So how do we solve for, or when we solve this quadratic trinomial, what answer do we get? Basically we'll get two brackets, okay? Now, you can also solve using the quadratic formula, I think, yeah? But the method I'll be putting down in the description below is how to solve it the other way without the equation, okay? So, in this instance, when you write down your two brackets, since this is x squared, write one x in one bracket and the other x in the other bracket. And you ask yourself, which factors of two, when you subtract them, gives you a negative one? So those two factors will be positive 1 and negative 2. Okay? So if you don't understand what I did here, just check out the link down below in the description. It will be written how to solve quadratic trinomials. Okay?
So just check that link out. Now when you have these two brackets, what you do is take the first bracket, which is x plus 1, and make it equals to 0. And then solve for x. So if you're going to solve for x, you're going to take this positive 1 on the other side. Which will be x equals to negative 1. And that's one of your answers. And then you take your other bracket, which is x minus 2. And then you make it equals to 0. You take, and then you solve this linear equation. So if you take this negative 2 to the other side of the equation, it becomes a positive 2. And that's also part of your answer. So your answer for this question is x is equals to negative 1 or x is equals to 2. That's your final answer. Or you can also write it as x is equals to negative 1 and x is also equals to positive 2. Okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, turn on the notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family, and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers.